Democrats in Washington state want to target high-paying jobs with more taxes. The excess compensation tax would add a 7.5% penalty on all jobs that pay more than 10% above the state average. They're going to start with hospital administrators and probably move out from there. The Democrats think they're paid too much. Jason Rance, Seattle guy, joins us now. Why would anybody with serious money go to Washington state? And why would anybody with serious money stay in Washington state? I think we're going to find out the answer to that within the next year or so. I think you're going to see a lot of folks starting to leave. Now, remember, a couple of weeks ago, you and I talked about this Washington State Supreme Court decision that redefined a capital gains tax as an excise yep. tax yep. instead of an income tax, which it obviously is. And so we all warned at the time the Democrats are going to push forward to see what they can get away with. And so now they introduce this excessive compensation tax, which, to your point right now, yeah, it's starting on the hospital uh, administrator jobs that they deem are paid too much. But anyone who thinks they're going to stop there is naive. They're obviously testing this out to see how much more they can get away with. They've been wanting to propose a wealth tax in particular. And if they can get away with just claiming it's an excise tax, which, again, it most certainly is not, they're going to go ahead and try and do that. They just want your money, basically. All right, Jason, here's yep. another one for you. Democrats getting closer to banning so-called assault weapons in Washington state. The bill says, in part, and I'm quoting, the gun industry has specifically marketed these weapons as tactical, hyper-masculine, and military style in a manner that overtly appeals to troubled young men intent on becoming the next mass shooter, end quote. That's pure politics, Jason. Have at it. Yes, it is. It, it, not only is it pure politics, it doesn't even get to the issue. Exactly. We have guns on this list that are not being used in even a fraction of a fraction of the gun crimes in Washington state. Now, they'll tell you that this is all about going after mass shootings. We don't have a mass shootings problem here. They almost never happen. You'll have to go back years to get something that's relevant. And oftentimes they point to issues that happen out of state. We certainly have a gun violence problem. It's because the Democrats are releasing violent criminals. They they are pursuing policies, and I'm not even making this up, this is not hyperbole, that go easy on school shooters. Right now there's a bill that would cut out certain amounts of years for a, uh, for a punishment for school shooters, for school drug dealers, while at the same time they're trying to disarm the law-abiding citizens. Look, you and I, we follow the law, the people here are law-abiding, we follow the law. The bad guys don't. And they're still going to get access to these guns. And now, frankly, they're going to have even more powerful firearms than the average citizen. It is a recipe for a disaster. You know, Jason, you bring us a long-running tale of woe. And it never seems to improve. And they never change the politics over there. I don't get it. I really don't. Last word to you. Uh, I don't get it either. I keep waiting for folks to start to wake up. I think in large part it's because the media locally, they don't connect the dots. And granted, I do that, but I am one person in a large sea of media members. I hope some people start to step up and, and tell us exactly what's happening so we can start to see some political change. You do a radio talk show. I hope people are watching and listening to you. Jason Rounds, you're all right. Thanks Appreciate so much, Jason. See you.